What is up everybody? It's your boy Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns and today we're going to be doing a video that might make a lot of people upset. About a month ago, the second Beetlejuice movie came out and I'm going to tell you why, plus more, but we'll get into that in a minute. I'm going to tell you why I think the second Beetlejuice movie is better than the first. Now, yes, 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 don't attack me, don't which is my opinion. We'll get into why. We're also going to be doing facts and the box office from the second movie. We're going to be diving into why I think the second movie was better. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. So, like I said, I knew this was going to be a hot take of a video. I've already told some people this opinion and they were like, what is wrong with you? I don't know. You give me more Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. Who can say no to that? Catherine O'Hara was hilarious in this movie. Now, she was funny in the first one, but they really let her go crazy in this one. Winona Ryder was the star of this movie. Now, she had a big role in the last movie, don't get me wrong, but she was the star of this movie. And plus, you add Jenna Ortega, who is one of the biggest upcoming actresses in Hollywood. You add Willem Dafoe's character, who's just rent a cop in the movie but you can never let it go monica bellucci as beetlejuice's ex-wife and justin thoreau's character who was interesting he was a lovable idiot very annoying but in the end he turns heel wrestling term on lydia and i think you just add those characters to this movie and i thought it was better now granted the story was probably better in the first one but when you give me more Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice and just let Beetlejuice do his thing, it's hysterical. And who's going to say no to that, you know? And plus, you add the very funny priest, the Danny DeVito cameo, who hated that? And then plus, you take away that murdering psychopath, uh, Alec Baldwin. I kid, I kid. And then no Jeffrey Jones, which was interesting, but I'm not very shocked. On to the facts, and then we will end with the box office. To date, this is only Michael Keaton's second sequel. Obviously did Batman and Batman Returns, and two Beetlejuice movies. So a rarity for Michael Keaton, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get that Michael Keaton trilogy that has never happened. I think it could happen with the amount of money this movie made. I think it's very possible, and the fact that this dude has never done a trilogy for any franchise he's in is absolutely insane to me. But we'll get to more of that in the box office. Winona Ryder told the Duffer Brothers, Stranger Things guys, that if Beetlejuice 2, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, ever got off the ground and running, they would have to let her leave so she could go film up. They said, not a problem. Winona Ryder came in the one day and said, it's happening. They said, deal's a deal. Good luck on the movie. So that's kind of cool. She was so into it that she's like, listen, you have to go let me do this if this ever gets off the ground. And the Duffer Brothers were like, we have no problem with this. And they held up to their deal. And that's pretty cool. This movie got hit by the actor's strike really hard because this movie was a day and a half away from finishing filming when the actor's strike broke out. What bad luck on Tim Burton's end. They were so, so close. Like, they could have rushed it maybe, but man, that's crazy. Just a few more facts coming at you. Tim Burton stated he was done making movies until he directed Wednesday with Jenna Ortega. And he's like, huh? I got the itch. Maybe we could do it again. Hence why Jenna Ortega is in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And he wrote this character in mind with Jenna Ortega. He's He called her in and she thought he wanted to go over like lines from Wednesday and he's like we're doing Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and I want you and she was like oh yeah okay let's do it kind of cool I thought that was pretty awesome the writer of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice wrote the janitor in mind but he didn't have an actor in mind for Dolores to kill and Tim Burton said hmm 
I know a guy. One quick call to Danny DeVito, and Danny DeVito was like, yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. Jenna Ortega said Justin Thoreau was the one that always made her break character on the set of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and Justin Thoreau said Catherine O'Hara was the one that always got him to break, which is interesting because I see Jenna Ortega as like a serious in character, and if they can get her to break, that's pretty cool. Michael Keaton, of course, ad-libbed most of his lines in this movie. The juice is loose. I'm gonna make you so happy. They didn't rehearse him and Burton or do anything before going into set. He just did his own thing. And Michael Keaton, who loved doing the first Beetlejuice movie, said this one was more fun to make than the first one. Is this a figment of your imagination? Arthur Conti, the guy that played Jeremy in the movie, the dead boyfriend or friend of Jenna Ortega, was offered this role on April Fool's Day and he thought it was a joke at first and they had to convince him like, no, we really want you. Like, this is happening. And my last fact, which is gonna lead us into the box office, Winona Ryder wanted her and Beetlejuice to get together at the end of the movie. As we know, spoiler alert, that did not happen. But this, there's a reason why this is leading into my box office stat line. So yes, the third Beetlejuice movie, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> no. They did ask Tim Burton if it's gonna happen. He said, well, after the timeline of the second one, I'll be 109. The science <laughs> might help me nowadays, but I don't think so. Obviously, he's kidding about it taking 35 years for a third one. I think if it were to happen, it would be a lot sooner, I would think, because Michael Keaton is 73 or whatever. Burton's in his mid to late 60s. I, I think there's enough room, Beetlejuice and Lydia getting together, for a third story. Now, at the time of recording, this video is going on to streaming platforms on October 8th. So by the time you see this, it will be on streaming. So go watch it. At the time of recording, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice has made just under $375 million worldwide on a $100 million budget. Now, for you movie mathers out there, that's a very successful movie. Usually, you break even at the doubling point. So their budget was $100 million. So usually if you get $200 million and up, you're breaking even and being successful. So they are almost quadrupling their budget, which is really good if you want that third movie like I do. Does Keaton want to do it? Does Burton want to do it? I'm sure Winona Ryder would be down. I'm sure Jenna Ortega would be down. But it's just like, I don't know. I think the story's there, personally. More Keaton, more Beetlejuice. That's just me. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you want a third Beetlejuice movie? Comment below and also comment which movie you liked better. The first or the second Beetlejuice? I know I'm in the minority. It's going to be a lot of firsts, but whatever. I stand by it. I think the second one was better. I don't mind the first one, but I just like the second one better. And one last fact coming at you. Gina Davis was actually in the movie. She was in the crowd for Jenna Ortega's f fake wedding. Uh, we'll see how, well, maybe we'll see how that goes. If there's a third movie, we might never know what was really a dream and what really wasn't. Because Winona Ryder woke up. I don't know if it was all a dream or whatever. But anyway, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. This is the last of the Beetlejuice content coming, folks. By the time you see this, I will have seen Joker Thale Adu. I'm intrigued by that one. I don't know what my hopes are. But again, by the time you see this, I will have seen it. And a review will be coming. So we'll see what happens. But until next time, I am Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns. And we will see you all in the next one. Later. Bobby's Breakdowns.